Hey, want to know about Unix operating system? What are the different classes of users or who uses this operating system? How to interact with this operating system? Especially the files and folders. Is it same the way we do in Windows? All your answers coming up in this video. So stay tuned. Namaskar. I am Vishal Bafna and you are watching Engineering Bed Easy. Many of you might be using Windows operating system and by many I mean 88.77% of the world who use computers use Windows operating system. Like Windows there are many operating systems like Mac OS, Unix, Linux, Sun Solaris etc. Today, we are going to focus on Unix operating system. The development of Unix operating system started in 1970s. So, this OS is there from quite a long time. There are popular varieties of Unix operating system like Mac OS, Linux, Sun Solaris, etc. So, if you are having an Apple computer and using Mac OS you are actually using one of the variety of Unix operating system. Let us look at this screenshot. This is a Fedora operating system, a variety of Unix operating system. It is actually a Linux but since Linux is itself a variety of Unix operating system we can say that Fedora is indirectly a Unix operating system. You can see the interface looks quite different from Windows. But we have some similar options too. Like the browser, Mozilla Firefox, or access to the calendar, or clocks, contacts, so on and so forth. Now suppose I am a normal user. And I want to access the files in the Unix operating system. To do so, I need access permissions to open or modify the files. It is similar to that of I need keys to access the drawer in my cupboard. This is called access control mechanism. Great. So as now you know what is access control mechanism, we'll look at Unix access control mechanism. Unix or Unix like operating system have very powerful access control mechanism. Before accessing any file or folder inside this operating system, you need special privileges or access permissions. Otherwise, that file is not accessible to that particular user. There are three access permissions to control the access to files and folders. The three access permissions are read, write and execute. So let us look at read access permission. If you give a read access permission to a particular file, you can view the contents inside the file but cannot modify or add contents. Similarly, if you give read permissions to a directory, now here I am saying a directory because in Unix operating system a folder is called directory. From now onwards whenever I say directory, I mean folder. So if you give a read permission to the directory, you can view the files inside the directory but cannot add or delete them. Next access permission is a write. The name itself suggests you can write on or modify the file. You can rename it add contents or even delete the file. Similarly to the directory, if you give a write permission to the directory, you can actually delete 
the files inside the directory add modify or even rename them the third is execute so for example if you open any application and you get a message like access denied so that is when you don't have the privilege to execute that particular application so programs and scripts need that execute permission to actually make them runnable now you might be wondering that who has the right to give these permissions to the users and files who is the main authority here to know that we need to discuss the classes of users there are three classes of users in unix operating system the owner group and other the first is owner which is also called as user he is the one who creates the file the creator of the file he is the one who decides what access permissions are to be given to a particular user or a file so he has the main authority the next class is group group is a special class which is only used in unix or linux operating system now when i am saying group you can relate this to the whatsapp feature that is broadcast list the reason for creating a group is better management of users it's very similar to having a broadcast list if similar kind of users are there then it is the best idea to create the group there are two advantages of creating a group or you can say a broadcast list first if the administrator or the admin in case of whatsapp one message is sent to multiple users under that group and second is the administrator can design a group policy and that is applied to all the users under that group now in case of whatsapp if we send a message on the broadcast list the receiver if replies back we don't see the reply in our broadcast list we'll see it in a personal message the third class is other other the name suggests is neither a owner nor the member of a group he is from some other group for example a system is accessed by all computer engineering students only computer students access that particular computer now if a civil student accesses this system he is considered in the other category great now you know quite a lot about unix operating system in next video we'll go in more of a practical side enough of theory we'll look at how exactly the owner assigns permissions to the files or to the users or by that i mean how you can assign the access permissions to your users and to your files and folders or oh, i mean directory it is also very important from exam point of view so if you don't want to miss the next exciting video of practicals consider subscribing now if you know more about this subject you can put your comments below so that not only other viewers watching this video can learn from you but also i can learn from you so till then keep learning by doing keep learning 
and keep growing. See you in next video. Bye-bye and take care.